Let me show you how to make rendering of a brain photography very easily. <laughs> In my research group, we work on brain connectivity, often based on structural data from magnetic resonance imaging. We are giving MRIs a sequence based on uh, diffusion. Uh, we process data through tools like uh, MRI tricks or DPI. And to render results, we use either already the tools that are available from MRI tricks, uh, DPI, Fury itself, or other tools like something like, uh, called TrackVis. Those came handy and everything is ready. However, we are kind of limited as we are far from the total control of 3D modeling rendering you can have in uh, Maya or Blender. Online, I found some solution to import results from tactography, like uh, our crazy coffee machine that we like to exp we have to export first in VTK format, convert VTK to OBJ, load the OBJ in uh, on Blender that might, might be heavy in case of streamlines. Tolerate the crash due to the heavy OBJ, put cup in the load, wa uh, load water, remove the waste, the scale, fly to India, fight Dalsim, and so on. Instead, I found a super easy way uh, from within the Python of Blender, but in the latest Windows and Ubuntu doesn't work, of course, because there might be conflict or it's not finding uh, properly the path. In my case, in this uh, Ubuntu 20, the solution uh, was to figure out where is installed the Python from Blender and call it from that pip from that folder, from that executable. Now, once you have installed uh, Nibubble, uh, not only you can import um, T1, T2 models of structural um, brain data, but also you can load entire tractography that you have previously computed, either with, again with MRI tricks or um, uh, with, with DPI. I use only a file with some cortical spinal tracks since it's more stream like, like the entire plane will take longer just for this uh, simple example. Then you, uh, I convert the points into streamline, into NARP curves, which are a special type of uh, B splines. And I need also to add this another value, another coordinate to that W for the homogeneous coordinates. And now you can finally see in the in the environment uh, the brain tractography. The issue with NURBS is that they're just streamlines still. They are not yet uh, a mesh or, or some kind of uh, triangular structure. So what you have to do is generally you extrude them or in this case a, a simple thing can be just to add some bevel around the, um, around the streamlines. For example like this. And now I saw only for uh, a couple of these streamlines, not the entire uh, fiber bundles of the cortical spinal tract. And you can see already that if I do the rendering, now they are uh, visible. This is just the beginning because of course, now you can start building on it. For example, to create this uh, effect, you should add some kind of um, procedural structure in the um, texture shader node. This is just the basic, this is not how you, of course, you have to build on, on, on this to create more uh, fancier and nicer uh, rendering, but it's, it's allowing you to already do more stuff than the simple rendering from uh, track with or Fury. Feel free to comment below if you are doing cool things from this and if this, this was uh, helpful to, to create new fancier videos going beyond more in the artistic direction than just a visualiz scientific uh, visualization. Bye.